Good morning, chaos. Good that the camera doesn't capture the smell. <laughs> Alright, good morning from King's House. I'll tell you everything about last night a bit later. At the moment I'm just walking around and exploring a bit this area in front of the hotel because obviously I camped behind the hotel. Just want to see how this looks like here. Amazing morning. Sky is blue again. Will be another beautiful hiking day. Time to put down the tent, I guess. Want to see something interesting? Look away if you don't want to see it. <laughs> Poop. Yeah, I camped on sheep poop. <laughs> I'll show you some more of the good stuff next to the tent. <laughs> Ooh, please subscribe to the channel. Only quality content here. Goodbye, sheep poop spot. <laughs> yeah. Still two attempts there, I don't know. They're permanent campers. <laughs> Yay. So, as you saw, the video from yesterday I arrived quite late yeah, after 8 p.m. managed to find a spot <laughs> for my tent yeah, I was so tired and exhausted at that time I didn't bother that there was sheep poop in one corner I did not camp on the poop yeah? I have to clarify that I did not camp on the poop <laughs> but I camped next to it but that side and that corner of the tent I put my backpack so my head and my mat were on the opposite side as far as possible from the poop very windy here ah look at that that's another camping spot here it's a bit of walking though from the Kinloch Leven Hotel so if you want to use the toilets facilities there then this is a bit of a walk but it looks very nice Look at this after the setup of the tent and moving into the tent you know unpacking sleeping bag and all these things it was already like 9 p.m. or something and yeah, I found it was too late to cook dinner I didn't feel that hungry so I went into the bar yeah I have to admit it uh, and I enjoyed uh, good night cider watched the nice scenery it's amazing here with the blue sky bed. I 
don't know what to say about that wild camping area at the King's House Hotel. It's nice that it exists, yeah, and that they still tolerate it. On the other hand, yeah, it's just, I don't, it's not. For a campsite, it's not a nice spot, let's say it that way. It's a bit smelly, you know, there's poop all over the place. So I don't know where they let it happen. Maybe they have this, this side of the bridge with the campers just doesn't belong to them. They have no, they cannot say anything. As what happened in the evening was that many people like me, the smelly hikers, went into the bar there. Super fancy, the hotel bar. Super fancy, you know. <laughs> and then you have the hotel guests and they mix up with these smelly hikers. So for me it was okay, but you know, as a, if you're a guest and you pay hundreds of pounds, I don't know how much one night is, maybe you feel disturbed by the smelly hikers. I don't know. I wouldn't be, but I could understand if someone says, uh, what's, what's going on here? Why do they, do you let these people in here? They didn't even pay rent. <laughs> Still windy and I'm getting closer to the road. So I'm not sure how the audio quality is at the moment. The microphone is facing me, so fingers crossed you can hear me. I met a uh, American guy this morning, a bit older, and he is also hiking West Highland Way. We were standing on the bridge there at the, ho at the uh, hotel, and he told me that he did this hike in 1996, and, and at that time there was just this small white house no hotel at all, just a small white house, you know, what you can see in the video. It looks a bit detached from the big darker black brown area. So that, that's a new building that came later. So he said he did it in 1996. Only that house existed. The hike was not so busy and not many tourists at all, so just Scottish people. Yeah, mainly Scottish. And now it's very international. There are many Germans, Dutch, French, Americans. So I don't know what happened since 1996, why it suddenly became so popular. Was there a movie about this? Documentary? I don't know. People found out and now it's popular. Enough about King's House. We are on the way to Kinloch Leven. Approximately 15 kilometers, maybe 16. It's a should be village like Tundrum, so not just a couple of houses, but like a real village. The shops and so on. Looking forward to see that. Originally, I thought to wild camp. Uh, six kilometers further up the hill. It's still in my head. At the same time, I also think about staying at the campsite in Kinloch Leven because this is going to be 
the last night with all the people here that I met on the trail. Well, yeah. Sometimes I don't even know their names, but you know, you see them, you greet them, you suffer together. It might be the last chance to see them, because then tomorrow everyone heads to Fort William. And I will go to uh, Glen Nevis, the campsite just before Fort William. So I might not see these people again. So yeah, I will think about what I want. If I want to do the lonely wild camping adventure or if I just want to have a nice last camping night with the people from the West Highland way hike. <laughs> it's one thing it's sometimes forgotten I think that it's not just, just about doing the hike by yourself and being out of your comfort zone it's also the social interactions with the people so especially if you follow the same itinerary the same seven day itinerary kind of you see the same people over and over again and if you and there at the end of each day there's they have a favorite place to stay a favorite campsite so you know exactly okay during the day you might be alone but then you arrive at the campsite and you see all the people again it's just a nice thing i consider myself a introvert person i'm more quiet so now i have to be a bit more outgoing in front of the camera of course but usually i i enjoy being by myself you know but here the people are super super nice like-minded i think it's how it's called that's something then that i don't like so much about that wild camping idea because with wild camping you're more the like the lonely wolf doing your own thing yeah you want to be away from other people but then you somehow miss out meeting yeah all these people I haven't decided yet for myself if this wild camping thing is for me I think I maybe have to come back home and then let all these experiences set down and reflect and then decide if I want to do the wild thing again or not I think or my suggestion would be if you are into wild camping go for it yay yay for you if you're not sure then maybe do both do one or two nights while camping see if you like it mix it up with some of the main campsites here maybe even mix it up with some clamping in a cabin or pot a hotel who says that's not allowed <laughs> you should enjoy yourself Fun fact, yesterday evening when I approached, uh, let's say I was still one kilometer or something away from King's house, there was a junction to the uh, mountain resort. It's higher up there, uh, to that mountain resort uh, campsite. And it was closer, yeah, it would have been just 15 minutes and King's House was still, I don't know, endless away. So I thought about going there on the real campsite and then I thought about, okay, how do I explain my audience? 
Why did I not go to King's house? They wanted to see King's house. <laughs> I thought to myself, okay, I will wrap it in a story like, hmm, in good weather, or, or, or let's say, uh, people, all the other videos show you King's house. <laughs> but camping at the mountain resort is rarely seen. Myself, I've only seen like, two videos when people stayed there and it was in horrible weather so they, they just didn't want to continue and stayed there but I haven't seen a good weather video of that campsite so I thought okay that's the, that's the story I will show my audience how it's like to camp there in good weather <laughs> of course would have been just a made-up story because in reality I was too tired morning I met Paul again Paul Meissner and his friend and, and funny thing is that they stayed at the campsite there on the at the mountain resort <laughs> so I'm looking forward to your video Paul I want to know how it looks like there in good weather and in my video then you can see how it looks like to camp a king's house next to sheep poop quality content <laughs> a bit more busy again today just a mountain biker overtook me also down at the car park king's house i realized there are many day hikers and families and the reason is it's saturday hey saturday good weather of course people enjoy the outdoors that story you know staying at the mountain resort campsite in order to review it <laughs> I'm happy I didn't do that I don't want to lie I want to be honest here this is honest emotions almost honest suffering things go wrong so I love the videos of other people I think my most liked video is the video uh, how to not do the West Thailand way because he just honestly shows all the things that go wrong with, with him yes too much he carries too much stuff weather sucks it's just very very likable video yeah so yeah should be honest and I know if I ever come up with such a story you would of course easily find out you'd call me an asshole <laughs> actually I'm, I'm interested now I don't have so many subscribers uh, I think it's just always 20 people who watch my videos so who is it please comment down there I want to know who are you who are you 20 people who watch my videos <laughs> so it's Saturday and the road is super busy and I can tell already many people parking here also over there where the forest is many parked cars I have the feeling they all go up to the, that devil's staircase so it's called go up there and have a good view so it might get busy <sighs> similar to last Monday Conic Hill maybe Right, started Devil's Staircase. So far so good. Rather flat. <laughs> no, of course goes uphill. Will be another 200 meters 
elevation uphill okay this 20 to 1 I said a quick break down there drink something had a snack before the big challenge the big climb here I report again when I'm higher So far so good Goes all the way up there obviously But it's not so steep Maybe more steeper parts are coming but with stakes like this, it's all right. Just slow, graduate uphill, gradually uphill. <laughs> okay, we came a little bit steeper now. <laughs> yeah, now slow down, slow down, and telling myself my motivational slogan a motto I am speed I am speed I am speed almost there almost there Look at that, that's the path there, winding along the mountainside, wow, so amazing, so blessed with the good weather, wow, thankful. By the way, this is the first time on the West Island Way that there's no mobile network, so not important. But maybe important to one of you to know that yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> The winding path down and I think there at the horizon in the valley you can already see Kinloch leaving. That's the destination today. Oh beautiful. Ok, 
in Loch Leven. Looks so close, but it's still around five kilometers. Yes. Feeling good. It's not all downhill here, it's a bit of a plateau. It goes up, down, up, down, mainly down. But as you can tell by my puffing, there was a short uphill section. Yeah. So early, 3 p.m. So it will be my earliest arrival ever on this adventure. I think it might be another one and a half, maximum two hours. Right, that's the end of the footpath. We're now joining a gravel road. These steep gravel roads are my kryptonite. I always struggle with knee pain here. So I have to go very slowly and use the sticks and not film myself. <laughs> okay, the devil staircase was no problem for me, but the devil's gravel road killed me now. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Looks like we are arriving in Kinochleben. It is 4.30. Eh. Let's give it another half an hour but until I find the campsite. <laughs> Whew. Great day, great day. I'll be staying at the Blackwater Hostel and Campsite tonight. It's right at the entrance of Kinochleven. I haven't even arrived at the village yet. There already was a junction. So it's... If you come from the south, the campsite is before the village. Right, arrived at campsite. It is quarter to five p.m. and now let's set up tent and then get something to eat, something to drink, and possibly shower and all these things. Yeah, let's find a good spot. Right, set up tent. Had a little wash, changed shirt. <laughs> now I'm having a quick look at the village, Kinloch Leven. I think that's an old brewery. It's closed, fortunately. So, let's have a quick look. Good to have a little bit of time. Free water, good to know for tomorrow morning. Yeah, I got a little sunburn, I think. Maybe I'm not sure. Cannot see in the 
video at the moment but after editing I'm sure it will be all red also the arm it's a bit red in the neck I put on sunscreen but only in the morning should have renewed it because it was really burning yeah So far weather forecast for tomorrow is not so good. Uh, looks like it's going to start raining in the morning. So I hope I can pack everything, put down tent before it starts raining. And sounds funny, in a little bit I'm looking forward to have a rainy day because that's the only thing that's missing. There was a little bit of rain, but mainly at night or some drizzling. So I need the experience of one day of rain, wearing the rain, rain jacket. Uh, of course I don't want to, but it's an experience and to round up, to wrap up, whatever, the whole video series. It would be interesting to see how things work out in the rain. Still, I prefer good weather tomorrow. So yeah, very quiet, little village. Nice setting though, people are friendly. I wish the brewery would be open, it would be cool. It's like it's, I don't know why it's closed, under renovation, I have no idea. It looks like pretty cool buildings. Okay, before I end up in the pub or have fish and chips, I go back to the campsite and eat my trekking food it's actually really nice so I'm always looking forward to it very nutritious a lot of calories let's see what we have tonight Born to be kings, we're the princes of the universe. <laughs> Movie Highlander is stuck in my head this morning. That's why I had to share it with the world. Okay, I wanted it, I got it. Rain on the last couple of kilometers. 